We're in Canafaron in Wales and we're at, eating at this amazing little cafe called Cafe Maze right at the foot of this amazing castle with this beautiful square and the sun is shining. It's time for another map to show you exactly where we are. After spending a couple nights in Bath, we made our way into the beautiful country of Wales, the smallest and least populated country within all of the UK. We wanted to spend some time in Snowdonia National Park, which is in the northwestern part of Wales. We camped along the beach near Carnarvon, which, by the way, I only just looked up how to say, so ignore me butchering it this entire video. And also, we have this little pamphlet. Oh, there's more. Yeah, that. Um, we have this little pamphlet if we want to learn how to speak a little bit of Welsh, because we don't know how to speak it. But it gives like how you. <laughs> yeah. Well, so it shows you like how it's spelled and then how you actually pronounce it. We should actually probably keep this. Vowels are hard and or non-existent <laughs> in Welsh. Actually, most of these are are okay. Dur. Water is dur, and that's how you spell it. Huh. So we are back in the car after a lovely breakfast and we're actually headed up to Anglesey today, right? Yes, yes. Anglesey Island. Up there, we are actually going to go on a puffin tour, which I'm so excited yeah, about. The Isle of Anglesey. The Isle of Anglesey. And this is like what it looks like and it's up on northwestern Wales. And this is where um, William and Kate lived for a number of years. Oh, that's so cool. And we're going to check out, hold on, we're going to check out this National Trust. Plus, Plus new. Oh, we know. We learned that Ooh. W means O O. So new. <laughs> yeah. We're so, guys, we're getting so good. Also, oh, we're going and, on the puffin tour. And the puffins. Where are they? Puffin Island cruises. Puffin Island cruises. It's gonna be so great. But also, I actually wanted to turn on the camera right now because we're we found a. Welsh radio station. So if you wanted to listen to some Welsh, here you go. No, so took plenty of Easter culture. Um, I just need to, with a just do do, I just need with a bag. Um, I can never. But I'm a little blesser. We we need your river to teach to our own. Didn't did our devil ever the real? Yeah, it's wild. I mean, it's really cool, but it's very different. There's lots of like throatiness, and you roll lots of letters, like for R's. Yeah. Um, and no. Water well, means yeah. dur. 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 I was really surprised because we're up in the northern part of Wales right now and everybody seems to be using Welsh if they know it as their primary language. Like, oh, have I've you noticed that. that? Yeah, I have noticed it. Yeah. I didn't really, I didn't like click. Register. Yeah, which really surprised me. I thought English was kind of the default and then in Wales, if you people know it, you know what I mean? What? When I was reading about it yesterday, North Wales had the most prevalent Welsh population. Yeah. yeah, so if you look at the map, the like darkest blue is the one that had the highest population of Welsh speakers, and that was in North Wales. Yeah. It's honestly really beautiful. Like, I think it's so cool because I, I wasn't expecting that we would be getting basically a different cultural experience in Wales. I thought it would be a little bit different, but like there's a whole other different language that is the primary language, which is really interesting. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> the Welsh is hard, guys. And we just walked in the front doors and look at all of these incredible paintings. It is amazing. And look at these ones in here. One of the things about this particular National Trust is known for is this huge mural. It takes up the entire wall. Yeah. It's incredible. So we just got out of the house and um, this is the view. This is what it looks like from the outside and it's absolutely beautiful. 
and I got the scarf in the gift shop because I thought it was really cute. It has lots of little sheep on it. Needed a sheep scarf for my collection. And also the nice thing is it's really nice and thin, um, which is perfect because I'm getting a lot of sun. A lot of sun, which is unusual because we're in the UK. <laughs> but um, I'm getting more sun here than I did in Italy, which is interesting. So got to protect my skin a little bit. Now we're gonna go on a puffin tour. Are you ready for puffins? <laughs> I'm so excited. This is really late. Uh, Atlantic seals. Ooh! Oh, I'm 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 jazzed. This is gonna be so great. We have a little. Um, Oh, it's a checklist of things checklist we can see. Of Puffin Island Wildlife Guide. Oh, Puffin. yes. We're getting a little wet. <laughs> you guys, it's a little damp. It's a little damp. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> we haven't seen puppets yet. And this is the Puffin Island. So, so they wouldn't be able to go and live in the open ocean because they wouldn't be able to see effectively. Which ones are what? The, the black higher up are the cormorants. Okay. And the ones lower down here are the um, shags. Okay. Oh, I see. Shags. Gotcha. So the there's a seal on the other side. side. And he's so chilling in the sun. There's the seal. Take a little nap. Oh, that's a lot of puffins. Look, there's two puffins right there. Just straight chilling. There's another puffin. Aww. It's so little. This is so cool. We're checking out all of these different birds. Oh, he's taking off. Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> you know the time stands still when you look my way. It's clear in my mind with every song that plays. Snowdonia National Park right now. I am currently looking at Mount Snowden. So Mount Snowden is this pointy peak right here, I believe, which is, it's hard to tell on the camera, but it's further back than this one. So this one's higher, even though this one looks like it's higher, it's not. And Mount Snowden is actually the highest peak south of the Scottish Highlands in all of the British Isles, which is pretty interesting. The cool thing is, is that there's this like train that you can take which is awesome. We're not taking the train because the train is actually booked up, which is very, very sad. So instead, um, we're just doing a kind of a scenic drive at the moment to see what we can see on uh, around Snowden um, because we're only here for like really, we have this day and then we have tomorrow, but then tomorrow evening we're going, wait, I don't know. I have to look at our itinerary. We have a lot going on. This is kind of like our one chance to really see this point. And then um, we're actually going to be headed to Ireland in just a couple days, which is going to be nuts. It's clear in my mind with every song that plays. That I want to get to know you better. I just want to know your heart. We could tear it up together. Everything we do is art. And when the stars come. to show you guys this amazing view this is our tent and this is the view and the sunset is happening right now this is a Barafon campground in the it's just outside of Snowdonia National Park it's absolutely so stunning I just can't believe this incredible view amazing that the pets are home safe here in Las Vegas again. Noelle is probably sleeping on the couch, but this one always loves to come and snuggle me as I get some work done. That is the face of, face of pure happiness right there. 
Alrighty guys, so that about does it for today's vlog. For today's question of the day, what is one language you would like to learn if you were given the opportunity? If you could learn literally any language in the world, what would it be and why? Leave those comments in the comment section down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye. So, what? I know my breath stinks, doesn't it?